Hey guys, this is the $20 servo challenge. I've got four servos here and all these servos can be had for around $20. And yes, there are links in the description below to get these servos. So what I've got for you here is a Hobby King 15298B servo. I've actually used this one and been fairly successful with it. I got the JX6221MG. Now, I've never run this servo, but you know, let's give it a try. And here we have the 20kg, the uh, DS3218. I recently done a video, a test video with this in this exact truck, and it actually performed really well. It's also in this test. Now, Power HD 20kg. In a previous test, this servo was like uh, above what its ratings were. It was actually really, really good. So anyway, these are the four servos that I've got for you guys. Now, I want to show you guys, you know, kind of a comparison on the speed. And then we're going to do the pull test or the servo pull on my servo tester that you guys have probably already seen. And let's see what they got. Okay, let's take a look at these servos. As you can see, there are no duplicates, so none of these seem to be, you know, knockoffs of each other. You can see the sides are different. You can see that the Hobby King servo is noticeably shorter up here. And that can actually cause some clearance issues depending on your vehicle and all that. So, I mean, they all look sufficiently different, so I don't believe I'm testing any clones of each other. So, let's go ahead and get into this. As far as a speed test, this is what I got for you. Okay, three of them appear to be about the same speed. The DS3218 is a little slower, but it turns further. You can see the lines right there. That's actually pretty neat. I mean, it's noticeably slower, but it turns farther. As far as making the pulls, these servers are going to be tested at 6 volts and 7 volts. The DS3218 comes with a really nice servo horn, and I'm going to be testing in two spots. All the way here, which is about 24 millimeters, and this point here is about 20 millimeters. So, two tests with each servo, well, one run at 6 volts and another run at 7 volts.
Okay, guys, so considering all those servos are pretty much right at the $20 mark, maybe a dollar over, maybe a few dollars under, the clear winner is the Hobby King 15298B. I mean, it was over 300 ounces everywhere. The JX6221, well, it was kind of bad. I mean, it was weak and slow. You know, usually a weak servo will have a lot of speed to it, you know, to use, like, say, in a little racer or something, but this one just really didn't seem to have that. So maybe if you have like a 1 16th scale crawler or something, maybe it'll work for you. Um, I'm not a big fan of that servo. Now the uh, DS3218, that's the one that I've been running in here, and that servo, although it tests kind of low, it actually performs really good in the truck. So, you know, just kind of what it, it, what you see is what you get, but it does good in the truck. Now the Power HD 20kg, if you guys notice on every test on that, when I would first start to pull, you would hear the noise change. And I'm pretty sure that's an amp limiting feature within the servo to keep you from having brownouts with the receiver and all that stuff. So the tests actually show quite a bit lower than what the servo actually puts out for maybe a second or two. You know, so the Power HD is still pretty good. But like I previously said, the Hobby King 15298B is the clear winner of the $20 servo test. So guys, hopefully this helps you decide which servo works best for you. And considering they're all about 20 bucks, it should be a pretty easy decision. And yes, there are links in the description below to get these servos. Thank you all for watching.